Hey folks, Justin with Effective Remote Work here. Today we're going to talk about how to access and use your Obsidian Vaults on iPad OS. We're going to look specifically at OneWriter, a markdown based text editor that you can get for both iPhone and iPad. While we're going to focus primarily on iPad OS today, many of these steps will apply to the iPhone version as well. A caveat with OneWriter before we dive in is that you either need to be using iCloud Drive to sync your files or Dropbox. As a word of caution, I wouldn't necessarily recommend using iCloud Drive because they don't have file versioning or a very easy way to recover your files if for some reason there is a, a collision in updates, they don't have versioning or error handling like that in there. I've lost files myself. So today we're going to look at using OneWriter with Dropbox and it actually works better this way anyway. So let's get in the application. Here we have an empty screen in OneWriter. Generally, when you first open the application after installing it on your device, you'll get a little modal that'll pop up that says, choose a folder. I don't have that because I've been messing around with the application today, but in order to get a folder set up, if you see a screen like this, you can just hit the hamburger menu here, and then at the bottom of the screen, hit add folder. You can see that we have the opportunity to add from a local folder on the device, iCloud, Dropbox, or WebDAV. You can access files from other document providers, though I've been using Synology Drive primarily for my document syncing and it doesn't work to just uh, open in place here. But uh, today I definitely recommend using Dropbox to sync your solution. It's the easiest way to go. If you're on the free plan, do be aware that you are limited to three devices connected to your account. Let's click on Dropbox and then we'll go into my vaults folder and we'll click on the starter kit here that we used in a previous episode. And then we'll hit choose this folder. Okay, so now we have this vault added inside of OneWriter. One thing I recommend doing before you dig around too much into your vault is go into the settings. And there's a couple of reasons for that. If we go under general, you can see at the bottom here, there's a default extension and default folder. The default extension is important because Obsidian creates files using the .md or markdown extension. So we're going to want to make sure that we have all of our new files created inside of OneWriter following that uh, convention. So we'll click on that or tap on it rather and then click tap on markdown or MD. Another thing to do is to click on the I'm using click today in this video, so I apologize for that. Uh, we'll go into default folder so you can make sure that you're saving all your new notes instead of locally inside of your vault. So we'll choose that folder and there you go. One thing that might be important to you if you're reading a lot on iOS and you'd like to get some data into your Obsidian vault is this share extension. You can convert text that you have highlighted on a page in Safari to Markdown and then it will convert using this template uh, below here that you can configure the way you want to to get that data into a note. This is really helpful if you're using something like the Zettelkasten method and you'd like to grab a quote but then write your own thoughts on it and make sure that you have the source of where that came from. Very, very handy if you're trying to capture information from somewhere on the web or inside of iOS where you can use the share sheet to grab it. We'll pop out of settings now, and then we'll go into our vault directory. Okay, you can see the file directory here. One thing to note when you're using Obsidian with OneWriter is that you're going to largely want to have a flat directory. You're not going to want to have a lot of subfolder because OneWriter doesn't handle the linking between items in subfolders very well. Keep in mind that there is a mobile app on the roadmap for Obsidian, and that should be coming soon. I don't know when that will be. But in the meantime, OneWriter is probably the best client that you have available on iOS. So let's poke around for a little bit. Let's see what we can find here. If we click on the start here note, you can see that we've got formatting, which is nice, uh, Wikilink support, which is pretty cool. If I tap on that, it'll take me to the IMF start note. I can also tap on the uh, zero zero index with the preview uh, label on there. 
The thing to note about that is it will search for those files. So even though 00 index with the pipe, then index uh, technically points to the 000 index file, one writer doesn't necessarily know what to do with that. So that's why it's searching. But the nice part about it is, is that the text is inside of the file and it easily pops up to the top. So we get the index file there. Let's get into edit mode uh, here for a second. We already are, but we'll just start typing and editing. I'll show you a couple features that are nice to one writer if you're typing markdown on iOS, um, especially if you're using the on-screen keyboard to do it. Uh, I have the smart keyboard hooked up to my iPad today, but uh, the on-screen keyboard can be a little challenging to get to some of the different uh, symbols and stuff that you need to type markdown. The nice thing about um, one writer here is that you have this quick access keyboard uh, right at the bottom. So you can do different things like space over, you can indent very easily. You can make something a hashtag or a heading. Same thing here. You can tap this multiple times. Bold something very easily. If you swipe over on it, you get lots of different options where you can do italics or bullet lists, links, images, to do's, quotes, so on and so forth. Wiki links pretty easy here. You just double tap it and you get your wiki link and some extra symbols as well that you might want to use on a more frequent basis. One writer can handle things like footnotes too, which is very handy. One thing we'll do is we'll go into preview mode where you can see that there are links that are generated from the wiki links, which is nice. You can see the footnote here. It takes you down to the bottom, so on and so forth. Another thing to note is that you can use tags, as we mentioned, inside of your Obsidian Vault inside of OneWriter. So if I type on MOC here, or Concepts actually, that has a lot more notes, it will pull a search up of all of the notes that have it in there. You can also go back, and on the top here where you saw the folder structure, you can also tap on Tags and browse all the tags that you have across all of your notes. Very handy if you're a heavy tag user. Obviously, you're not going to get access to the knowledge graph, all of the fun plugins that you can get on the desktop application of Obsidian. But for the meantime, this is a really good way to get started with using and accessing and editing your Obsidian Vault on iOS. If you want to create a new note, you just hit this plus button in the lower right-hand corner. One thing that it will do is it will automatically create the note with today's date and time. You're probably going to want to change that. You can change it by just tapping on it up here and hitting rename. We'll make a WikiLink friendly one. We're testing out one writer. If we tap on that, because there's no note that's created with that name, it's not going to automatically open it. That is another shortcoming of using one writer for this at this point in time. However, like I mentioned, it's a great way to access your notes on iOS. Let's get out of the keyboard view here. And under this menu, you have some actions that you can take. And you can add actions as well. One interesting thing about OneWriter, if you're into automation and all of that sort of fun stuff, I'm not super big into it myself, but I know there's a number of folks out there who love to script and automate certain tasks inside of their softwares that they use, especially on iOS, because it can speed things up quite a bit. You can add different URL scheme actions and even JavaScript actions inside of OneWriter. So you can edit the script. You even have a full uh, text editor here where you can test and uh, run JavaScripts on your uh, text notes here. It's very cool to have that available. Um, you can send notes different places and all sorts of things. But generally, you're probably going to want to just have your notes come in here. You might do some processing on them. 
uh, and browse through them, link things together, and make sure that you have access to them on your iOS devices. Something else I wanted to show you quick before we finish today's video is how you can use OneWriter with Drafts. Let's open up Drafts. Drafts is my capture point for text. I don't like to get into a specific note-taking app. I, I like to just be able to get whatever's on my mind out as quick as possible and then deal with processing and figuring out where it goes later. So the beauty of Drafts is that it allows you to do exactly that. I'll put a link in the show notes to this application as well. There's a free version. You can also upgrade to a pro version for an annual subscription fee. I definitely recommend checking it out at least as a capture point for text because then you can figure out if it's a transient type note where you don't really need to do anything with it or if you need to develop it further and then actually integrate it into your system inside of Obsidian. So what you can see on the screen here is that we have a test note. And I just want to show you quick how you can easily get it into OneWriter. So let's click on the little draft symbol over here and we'll click share. Then we'll find OneWriter over here. You can see that it's going to create a note with today's date and time. And then it will be, here's a test note. And we'll hit send. And then it's shared. If we go back into OneWriter, We'll go to folders. Let me try to find. Here it is. So it's a fairly straightforward method. There is some tweaking and customization you can do with it. As I mentioned, OneWriter does have a URL scheme structure. So if you wanted to create a custom action to send from drafts to OneWriter with a specific file format and name and all of that sort of fun stuff, you definitely could do that. For the sake of this video, I'm keeping it simple to show you the capabilities, but that's really it. If you're looking to get access to your Obsidian Vault on iPad or on iPhone, OneWriter is by far the best way to do so at this point in time. Check out the link in the show notes if you're interested in either of these applications. Be sure to click the subscribe button to make sure you get our further videos on Obsidian and other productivity tools and systems and ideas. Lastly, if you have any questions about Obsidian or OneWriter or other note-taking applications, productivity tools in general, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I've been loving getting the feedback from you on what's interesting to you, what, you, what videos you want to see made, and we're working on a number of them coming up in the future. So keep giving us suggestions, and we'll catch you in the next one.